Hello and welcome to AEA's Art Channel. My name is Hilke Amiersma and today I'd like to share you, uh, with you how I painted my uh, new uh, little friend and it's one of my, uh, uh, the newest one of my collections of uh, portraits that I make from um, children from different cultures and uh, as you may know and this is the number 8 and I'm trying, I'm planning to make 12 so I have a few to go and then my birthday calendar will be uh, finished because I like to uh, that, that's the idea to make a birthday calendar of the uh, pictures of uh, the original artworks. So that's why I came up with making 12 and just uh, to give myself the motivation to make those portraits. Because when I started making portraits I found them very very difficult. I still do but I now enjoy them uh, more, making them. And, but when I, like I said when I started out I didn't enjoy them as much because I had to learn quite a lot and they are, for me, quite difficult to make. Portraits are, uh, yeah, I think the, the most difficult subject that I uh, paint, um, uh, I'll draw, but um, yeah, but I, now I have made eight and I'm gonna make more, I really have learned so, so, so much. So if you like to make portraits and you don't know how to start out or you find them also very, very difficult, maybe you wanna try to make a uh, sort of project like I did, um, and you can uh, find beautiful uh, uh, reference tree photos on the internet, but you have to search a little bit more for them. They are kind of hard to find, but, but you also you can make, uh, of course, uh, photos for uh, a family or friends who like to be uh, your model. And um, yeah, I, I really would suggest uh, practice and practice and practice. And it can be quite hard, uh, once again, with, uh, with portraits because they are so hard, but the reward and the, that, that feeling, it's hard to, for me to, uh, to uh, describe, to dis describe, I'm sorry, <laughs> to describe <coughs> when you are uh, managing um, to make um, eyes uh, who are um, alive, where you can see things in. They are not really alive, of course, but for your imagination, they are alive. The hairs, the, that feel of hair, it's, it's really, it's, uh, for me, it's a sort of a miracle. I, 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 sometimes I just don't uh, understand how we people are able to make those things. And it may kind of uh, uh, a bit, uh, uh, sound a bit funny. It's not that I think that I am doing a, a very good job, just in general. If you think about it, it's it's something, it's very flat, but you can make it alive somehow. And um, that's really what I like about art. And it's not only about subjects like people or animals, um, but um, also you can catch a feeling and you can uh, also, it, if it's abstract and you love abstract, you see something in it. It's just, for me, it's a really, really, yeah, almost amazing how, how how, how that happened I don't understand and maybe and nobody will understand ever but it's so beautiful um, to make artwork that way for me at least and that's why it's a my, my biggest hobby and um, well I have a few more hobbies but it's a very important hobby the other ones I can miss uh, either that are uh, I consider my horses and my ponies as a hobby and my uh, argots but uh, argots I um, but also my artwork. My artwork is very important for me just to clear my head if I have a, a very difficult uh, day or I have very uh, much impulse uh, in my head and I need to clear my head, I uh, really like to paint and draw and it really helps for me. So, uh, Well, it was quite a long story. That wasn't uh, my intention but it, it came out so I uh, think it uh, needed to be there. But this is my next uh, portrait and I hope you like it. I will now show you the tutorial and try to explain everything I did. But if there is something you want to know, uh, would like to know more about, uh, for example, uh, how I paint eyes or anything, please leave it in the comment section below. And if I am correct, I have a uh, tutorial on how I paint hair, so I will uh, have that uh, uh, pop up in the screen so you can check that and out. Obviously, I start um, with the first again, layer, else, and on the end of the first layer and the second layer, I have a picture about so how these uh, layers look tutorial. like when I'm finished with them and that I uh, will do because it uh, look quite horrible and it can be, can be um, um, quite hard to uh, yeah, go through those layers because they are so uh, so ugly and they are always uh, sometimes uh, they uh, will um, are called the ugly stages and that's uh, because um, well you will see it in the end uh, why they call them uh, like that but I thought it would be nice to include them 
and uh, to show you where we have to go through to uh, to make a uh, quite a realistic looking portrait and um Oh yeah, before I forget, I uh, to mention I am working with the Gamelin oil paints. I think it's a really nice paint to work with. It has a uh, buttery feel to it, but I uh, personally I like it uh, really much. And I start out with black, white and a, a raw umber. Just for the under layers and personally I like these uh, three colors to use for my uh, first layers because they have a uh, warm thin to it and uh, yeah that's personally a preference, I like that. And for the cool thing that you uh, could use some uh, more blue later on in the black to, uh, to darken it up, uh, to, to tone that, um, or to cool it down a bit more. But like I said, I uh, personally I like the uh, umber of the brown tint and uh, so therefore I use those. And this first layer is all about the first blocking in the first stages and basically I'm trying to get rid of the white of the canvas and some of them, some of uh, painters are uh, painting the whole canvas with a uh, also I think a raw umber color, an orange brown color but I uh, most of the times I just start on a uh, blank white canvas just uh, because I can then really see where I miss some spots and where I need to uh, include some paint that is what I like but you can uh, tint the canvas before you start actually painting and um, in this stage I used a little bit more liquid for the background and that is because I uh, then have uh, a little bit easier to um, yeah, to combine the different colors to uh, let them um, uh, yeah, uh, how to, uh, to get rid of the, the harsh lines in the background I should say I can easily um, get rid of those with my mop brush and because the paint is a little bit uh, thinner so this is the first stage. I stopped uh, at this point. I could go a little bit further, but this is basically how it looked like. And yes, this is why we call it a ugly stage. There is some paint on the canvas, but and I can see that it should be a portrait, but that's all. So therefore, uh, let's start uh, right away with the second layer and uh, move on to the, a little bit more details. And you can already see uh, starting the difference. The color around the eyes is deeper and richer and that is what uh, I really like on this uh, yeah this way of painting to so build it up build it up and yes you need to take your time and it may seem quite obvious but I felt um, myself uh, quite trying to rush through a painting especially in portraits when I started out doing portraits but you will see it in the end because all the time all the time you put in this to get those details, to get those highlights and the dark, the darks uh, and the lights in the right places will, yeah, pay off in the end. It will make a lot of difference, and that is what I had to learn the most, I think. And obviously, to uh, get those lines good, but the more time you uh, take for it, the easier it will get because you are focusing, uh, trying to, yeah, uh, uh, pushing yourself to focus on those details. What do you need? I'm constantly asking myself, what do I need? What I, uh, do I want to achieve? And uh, for this, I, where do I need those highlights? I want to focus on those, uh, on that curly hair of this uh, beautiful young boy. So I need to uh, get those shapes in there. I don't have to be completely exact. Every detail uh, don't um, matter that much if you are painting uh, photorealism realism i'm sorry but you need those details you need those highlights and those fine lines in those hair and even though i like to paint in clumps and clusters just with fur i do the same with hair but i like to uh, put in some extra details on top of those clumps of fur with um, a teeny tiny lines to indicate uh, smaller hairs a few hairs clumped together or even some individual hair showing up so therefore uh, it makes it m way more realistic but it will um, need quite some practice especially when you do uh, portraits if you ask me portraits are the hardest uh, part of painting uh, yeah in every uh, way I uh, have uh, sometimes a bit of a hard time with uh, painting animals and furs and feathers but portraits it's a completely different story especially when you are painting someone you know or um, someone uh, maybe on a commission the person will get that painting you have to be exact as ex uh, quite exact that person has to be on your canvas and as long as you don't have the feeling that it is completely that person you may recognize that person but 
it, it's not it doesn't feel right yet just take your time and you, that doesn't mean that you always need to paint but uh, try to take your time and look at your painting this is the second layer and you may notice quite some difference there i have a uh, much richer paint on my canvas and more details but once again it's still for me an ugly state but is this is not this is not as far in um, comparison to the end painting to the end piece but like i said i need those layers and especially with oil paint those dry uh, overnight for me because i use a liquid but i need the time i need those layers and i need those stages i and uh, for example what you just saw uh, that picture that's a um, the time for me to stop to let the paint dry because otherwise i'm going to make mud on my canvas so um, now i just go through uh, all of these stages the last stages if you want to see uh, the five basic stages that i uh, go through uh, painting a portrait i will have a um, card pop up so you can check that because i did discuss that in an, in another tutorial but i just wanted to show these first pictures again because i know how important those are to go through and how hard they can be when you're starting out because basically you are you are painting a map a map to go uh, further to go into those details to go through the end states and finish up your painting in the end but to come there you need those ugly stages but how they how ugly can have do they have to be <laughs> i should uh, would ask uh, myself because there's no reference when you are just starting out you only can see other uh, people's work but you don't have the um experience yet now i know and then it will come together in the end and just have to paint on to paint on but when you're just starting out that can be quite difficult so therefore i showed you those pictures and maybe you want to revisit them uh, them sometimes again just to see how ugly those stages are that is correct in this uh those first layers you are uh, it would be quite um well it wouldn't be your first and your ugly stage if you were uh quite exact and your painting would uh, feel complete right so so you need those stages i cannot stress that enough and i try to uh to, yeah to uh, indicate how important that is to uh, to learn yourself to go through them and on the other hand side on the other side it's quite easy because as long it is not uh, as long you don't uh, as long as you don't like your painting <laughs> you just not finished yet so you need to rework and rework and rework and i think this is my fourth layer if i see uh what's the skin tone it gets uh, uh getting richer now so i think i'm about in my fourth stage and then i will go over to my fifth but like i said i don't have pictures uh, of them because i don't think they, these were that important but um yeah i'm just reworking and reworking and maybe you notice i'm not glazing that big of areas anymore i'm just tinting colors and i uh, try to get my little details back in sometimes when i'm glazed over them i'm just losing them a bit that's okay because i uh, then can uh, soften that out a little bit easier by painting them a little bit too f yeah basically too far away if that makes sense and then try to get them back but just slightly because they may be uh, a little too harsh and especially when you paint children they uh, don't have um, that that many details in their faces as uh, older people so they have quite a nice uh, skin smooth skin but there is um, quite some lot of um, different colors in them but slightly different so that uh, can be quite hard as well and we are back to the eyes uh, yeah this is about the fifth layer then i'm starting uh, most of the times i'm starting a next layer with the eyes again just like in the beginning i like to uh, work on the eyes i have something to uh, to watch to uh, yeah basically use as a reference if everything is uh, right and the eyes on this guy i really really like because they are quite big and so so beautiful so so beautiful details so beautiful colors are in there so uh, i really really would like to uh, to paint this little boy oh and you can find this uh, reference photo on pixabay so if you want to try uh, this uh, you will find it there and you may notice that my uh, that the clothes i changed the clothes a little bit um in the picture they were right but they were uh, they had stripes on them and i found it a little bit too busy to to um yeah too much detail for my painting i like to focus on on his face and especially on the eyes so therefore i uh, 
made it uh, blue and changed it a little bit. And in this stage I'm really reworking my details. The shape of the face is not right, so therefore I try to come back with shadows, if you uh, what I'm doing here, and darken some things up to get uh, the shapes um, correct. And this is uh, a picture of the end piece. And once again, you may notice this, the colors on this picture are quite um, richer than in my tutorial. That is all because I use daylight lamps. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just uh, the daylight lamps make uh, make show up the colors uh, quite flat in the, in the tutorial. But uh, this is the end painting. And uh, as usual, I hope you like it. So, uh, so let me know what you uh, think of this painting. So I hope you like this tutorial as, uh, as always, of course, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you all don't uh, have already, please subscribe to my channel, I would really like that. And once again, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye bye!